everyone, Jen here, and I'm so excited to share my vlog from Star Wars Celebration. We went to Chicago, Illinois for the Star Wars Celebration, which is a convention of all things Star Wars. And it is so much fun, so exciting, and just so much to see. Along with that, we did tour a little bit of Chicago, and I have some footage of that, but that will be in part two of this vlog. So I'm so excited. At this vlog, mostly is gonna be music and talk over voiceover because I was sick during the convention. I do have a few clips of me talking slightly and there might be some coughing or sniffling in it, like just basic cold stickiness. I'm not used to vlogging in public. I'm not used to talking in public to myself, to a camera, so that didn't really happen too much. So hence the voiceover psych. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it. So the Star Wars Celebration was held in the McCormick Center in Chicago, and it is one of the largest convention centers ever. But as you walk in, there's a bunch of banners, and there's this beautiful art mural that goes across of the wall, and it is so pretty. You can actually buy it, but it's super long. And then over in the convention center, there is a this show store and also the exhibit hall. And the exhibit hall has like vendors, and like a lot of cool things to see. So first up is these cars. These cars are amazing, amazing. I kind of want one. That's cool. I need one of these cars. There's a BB-8 bug, a cool truck that's like the dark side Vader theme, and so much more. Also, they have like almost life-sized models of ships and other things Star Wars. There's a cool TIE fighter. I actually got a picture next to it. There's this cool A-wing ship. And there's even an R2-D2 in the seat, which is so neat. I love droids, and you'll find that out soon. And there's me again. And there's just so much on the show floor. There is just cosplayers, like crazy, and some fun moments with the cosplayers. These guys are the terrorists. These guys are the terrorists. We protect the system. Oh, no, 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 no.
as you can see, there was so many people. The tickets sold out almost instantly for a lot of the passes. I think we got the four day pass or the five day pass just a few days after I, I was watching it like a hawk. <laughs> so many people, but it was such an amazing experience. And it's so much fun to see all the people in costumes. And here's some more cars. This one's a Mandalorian car or a Boba Fett themed. And just like, ah, uh, it's like artwork on a truck or something. It's just so cool. Among many things in the comments, I want to know which truck is your favorite? Which vehicle? Did you guys like the BB-8 bug, the Vader truck, or the Ma Mandalorian Boba Fett car? Let me know in the comments. Aside from all the cool cosplay, occasionally there's these parades of the groups that come along. So a lot of different groups attend Star Wars Celebration, like the 501st, which is the bad guys doing good. They're a charity group. Almost cost, or not almost, they are replica costumes from the movie. Some even better than the actual movie props, I've heard. <laughs> but a lot of these groups like just do a parade through, and it's pretty cool to see like everybody in the costume, how many people are in this group, and this probably isn't everybody. And then the different type of costumes, really cool. And check out that little girl as Princess Leia. That is the cutest thing ever. And that's another thing I like about Star Wars Celebration is it's for any age, anybody. There's all sorts of diversity in fans. It's pretty cool. This is really neat too. At Celebration, I believe like in beforehand, they built this image of the Stormtrooper helmet out of these little Stormtrooper Legos figures. <laughs> it's really neat how much effort and time it probably took into that. It is just really cool what you can do with Legos. And it's actually the 20th anniversary of Lego. So they had a little display of that and uh, lots of cool things, but that'll be shown later. the different things to see there's also panels so they did lottery systems for panels so you could choose which panels you wanted to go to and enter the lottery and we got lucky enough to get into all the panels two of them were on the main stage and two of them were in uh, streaming rooms so the rise of skywalker episode 9 panel we got one of the streaming rooms and regardless it was amazing the hype in that room it was just exciting and watching the trailer Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen the trailer by now, uh, pause this video, I'll let you do this. Pause this video and look up the Rise of Skywalker Episode 9 Star Wars trailer. Amazing. Seriously, it's so exciting. The next panel we were able to go, this is on day two, was for Galaxy's Edge. And they are really cool about amping up the crowd. And this was uh, on the main stage, I don't know if I said that. 
So we are actually live in the room with the panelists for the thing. And as always, Warwick Davis was the host and they had some cool lighting stuff. After watching this again, I mean in the room, I really want a lightsaber now because they're so pretty. <laughs> and I, one day when I go there, I'm to Galaxy's Edge, I am going to make a lightsaber. That's my plan. So it's going to be mentally in my budget. It's really cool. Um, there's freebies sometimes at some of the panels. So we were over at the Marriott. This, these views from, in Chicago is from the Marriott. And I think that is the Field Museum? Oh, there's Chewbacca. I love Chewbacca. And here's another one of these parades. This is like a lot of different groups because there's so much variety in costuming. So this was really, really cool to see. It was something really special in my opinion. These Padme costumes are amazing. They are so pretty and intricate. I have another picture of a Padme or Queen Amidala costume earlier you probably saw, but there's so much work that goes into each and every costume. It's really cool to see that. So I'd like to know, along with your favorite car from those three, what is your favorite co cosplay costume? If you could dress as a Star Wars character, who would you want to dress as? Let me know that in the comments below. For me, my favorite character is Chewbacca, but I I don't know why, but I want to wear a Stormtrooper outfit. I think it would just be cool to wear the armor and the helmet. everything to see there's more <laughs> star wars has a live show and it's usually on youtube and probably the star wars website these two guys are the host andy and anthony and it was really cool to see it in person we stopped there a few times we actually was able to catch up i'm um, at best at the star wars show and that was really cool to see Yeah. The 20th anniversary of Star Wars Celebration is your 
first celebration. How does it feel to be here? Uh, it's really overwhelming, actually, to be honest. Yeah, you know, everyone is so wonderful. And it's, and it's just great to be in this room. The energy is palpable and exciting and so very positive. Yeah. I feel like everybody looks the same. I got older. <laughs> I don't think there's anything like Star Wars Celebration like anywhere. It's really cool. That actually wraps up this day at the convention. We were walking through Chicago, seeing a little bit of the sights. Um, I pointed out that that's the cultural mile in Chicago, and we are just waiting for our bus to get back to our hotel. We stayed near the Midway, so we were a little bit farther out. We took the train a lot, we took buses. And it's not too expensive either. So if you're staying in Chicago but don't want to stay downtown, there's plenty of affordable options to get there. And I think I see our bus. So that wraps up this first part of the Star Wars Celebration Chicago trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. And may the Force be with you.